Hello and welcome back to the Sch Museum on a very exciting day because we are about to be collecting a new car, but not just any new car. This is going to be the first Sch Museum team car. We're heading actually on tour. That's also another first, the first time we've taken the Sch Museum channel internationally because today we are heading to Germany to pick up the new car. We're going to keep it secret for just a little bit longer, but it will be something coming back to join the Schmiemobiles to be used more by the team, by Brad and also by Tom and by whoever else might be involved in everything that we've got going on. And today, Brad, who's holding the camera, and I are going to be heading from here in one of this mystery brand's luxury cars over to London Heathrow Airport to catch a flight to Munich in Germany to go to the Brands Centre to pick up this new machine. Now, I don't want to tell you too much right now. It's fairly small. It's very nippy. It's in a colour that some say I quite like. That will make more sense. And we're going to take it out for its first drive later on today. This is really quite exciting. It won't be long now until our ride has arrived to pick us up, to take us to the airport to go pick up the new Schmuseum team car. We got back recently with the GC Black Series. Me and Tom took that out and I pulled it in to the garage and decided, although we normally park all the cars reversed up against the wall, so we have the front ends, I thought I'd be funny and quite annoying because I know Tim likes the cars parked nicely. So I've put it in the wrong way around and I've left quite a big gap here. So I'm not sure Tim is too pleased, but the car's in here. So that's all that matters. We've got bags over here we've somehow managed to squeeze quite a lot of stuff into a few bags but i think we are pretty much ready to go just a couple of minutes and our ride will be here and we'll be over on our way to germany and by the way i don't mind gt black series the wrong way around it looks quite funny <laughs> this might give you a bit of a clue as to what we're collecting and no it's not this tim did say it's a fairly small car and this audi a8 l isn't very small but it is a wonderful way for us to get from here to the airport. I'm looking forward to that ride, actually. I think this gives people quite a big clue <laughs> as to what we're collecting. Well, kind of. I mean, they now know the brand. Certainly an Audi. Stay tuned. Time to hit the road then. Just going to jump into the yeah, That is a lot of legroom. I'm sure a very nice place to be for the journey. Despite being very tired, this is a really nice way to get to the airport. Very comfortable. Very calm, very chill, obviously with lots of creature comforts. We're in the A8L, so we have a whole lot of leg space. There's also the lounge seating option, uh, better on the passenger side than the driver's side. And then we've got the infotainment, the controller, obviously all the seat controls. Yeah, can't complain really. It's nice, isn't it? It's a very nice place to be. I don't think we could have picked, a, well, have been chosen a better car to go on an airport running. Definitely. There's just lots of things to press. There's mirrors <laughs> up here and little cubby holes and, and a full charging a power socket. It's just That's a shame nice. it's not a UK. Yeah, but we've got adapters but, but for that. We have adapters. There's was there a cup holder here? Yeah, cup holders. So all the all the things like um, having the window blinds, the sunroofs. But that's obviously the buttons you press. It's also about the suspension and the ride quality, and it's so comfortable that although the car we're collecting later is at the very exciting end, it doesn't have this kind of like real chill, super easy vibe to it. I'm sure it's a lovely place to be as well, but I don't think it quite compares in the luxury department as this. Yeah. Even down to the kind of inlays with the lighting and the illumination around. Very, very nice way to be taken to the airport. That was very smooth sailing. Okay. But here we are, Heathrow. Time Entries. to go and find a plane. Yeah, find a plane. Fast method of transport before we're maybe on the autobahn a little bit later. Should be nice and easy, we've got plenty of time. We're seated then, ready for the flight ahead here at Heathrow. It's quite a nice day in fact. They're not very long, we'll be up in the air on the way. We've made it Brad. We have arrived in Munich. And in front of us is the Audi Conference Centre terminal. I just realised how massive that Lufthansa advert is. Yeah, that's great. It was a good flight. It went quite quick. Very efficient, very smooth. And I gather this is basically where we're coming because somewhere around here, up this escalator, there are going to be some cars waiting. There are probably some RS e-tron GTs waiting, but it's yeah. not one of those. No, it's not one of those. It's, it's not, not electric. That's another clue we can give. It's not electric. At this stage. But basically, this is the first time the Schmuseum channel has been on tour. And 
first place is to Germany, which is quite cool. And it's very cold. Yeah. And you're not dressed very much no, for the... No, I put this on and thought, oh, we'll be okay, we'll be on a plane. And then got here, walked outside and saw lots of people in... Massive big jackets. jackets. Hats and things and... Yeah, I probably should have... I have packed stuff. I just haven't yeah. got it on right now. Well, I believe the car we are collecting is going to be on winter tyres, which is very appropriate for the purpose. And in fact, I can see many examples of the car we could collect in front. But I think yes, I'm going to resist turning the camera around. I don't around. think we do anything yet. No, we'll, we'll hold fire just a moment longer. Jump ahead a bit and it is time to reveal the new Schmusian team car. Everything is ready, although given the time of year, we are quickly losing daylight. But I think it's time to show this, isn't it, Brad? It is, but it's not the Q4 e-tron behind you. As cool as that is, it's not that. No, and in fact, I have the key for the car here. We've got an Audi RS badge, the first Audi RS Schmimobile, I think we can say that, of all time. It's sitting right in front of us here. Let's come and take a look at this then. Do we go slower? Do we tease them a little bit and make them wait? I, I think we can get straight into it. The new Audi RS3 Saloon in turbo blue. How cool is this? That colour is insane. It's a very, it's a very shmee colour. It's a very shmee blue. It fits in very well with all the rest of your collection. It sure does, it sure does. Well, this is the team car. It's a car from Audi UK's fleet. You'll notice the UK plate out here in Germany. In fact, I've got a line of cars because they've been hosting the media events out here. So lots of people have been coming to take the cars for test drives before they head back to the UK. But this is going to be part of the channel for the next six months. The Schmusian team car to use on all of our various outings and trips and things. It's the third generation now of the Audi RS3. The second generation of the RS3 saloon. I drove the previous one actually out in the UAE, out in Dubai a couple of years ago. But this is a cool looking thing, all the shapes. You were, talking, you were just talking about it together. These vents on these front wings are nuts. They're very aggressive. And I think when we looked at some photos of the previous saloon, they've really made this car a lot more angry. They made it a lot more angry. Look at the shapes around the front. Look at how much sharper all of this is. The styling, the design. We've got the LED matrix headlights. This is actually a launch edition car. So there are effectively a few different series of cars. The Vorsprung being the top, the launch edition. You can have the regular car and there's one further as well. But that means it's very highly equipped. Lots of specification, all of which we're going to be discovering. We can't yet talk about the full driving impressions because the embargo for UK test drives hasn't actually lifted yet. That will be coming on the Shmiwa 50 channel very soon. Today though, we can take you through the car. We've got the 2.5 litre turbo 5 cylinder, wonderful engine, the RS exhaust on the launch edition spec as well. We've got 400 horsepower, 500 newton meters, lots of tech features as well. Adaptive cruise for example, the sensor down here, as I mentioned the LED matrix headlights. And these headlights are very cool. They are, they are very cool. We'll have to show them. Should we show that right can now? We just give it a lock and an unlock. Do we get a little light sequence? The way they always do some nice changes. There we go. Love it always love it and the cool thing about that is in these leds here it spells out rs3 as you turn it on i don't know if you spotted that i didn't that. notice that we'll see if we can capture this again unlock it wow and then you get the checkered flag it's such a small <laughs> it's such a small silly detail but it That's really makes silly it detail. it makes it so cool it's a very nerdy detail that i love it's that. so cool i don't know if i'd have noticed that if you hadn't said it so these are the specific wheels for launch edition um, obviously, we've got the saloon, we've got lots of practicality, we've got space in the back. I think we should have a quick look as well inside the car. The interior has changed drastically from the first generation saloon and it is lovely. Yeah, you can see we've got the black leather going on in here. We've got the quilting for the seats, the digital screens, drive select, adjustable modes. And the car has a lot of clever tech going on. A lot of fun visual things, the RS logos under the doors, the puddle lights, for example, those kind of details. But it also has the, oh, as one heads on out, the Kyle Army green. That's a lovely colour as well. And I think can... all of these bright colours that Audi are doing on the RS3s, are, they they're amazing. Very well. You can see how dirty it is as well. Sounds quite nice. You can see how dirty it is from all of the runs that the cars have been doing down to the mountains, which are not too far away from here in Munich. Um, what else was I going to say? Yes, obviously Quattro, all-wheel drive, Audi RS. Um, but in addition to that, it also has the new RS torque splitter with a fun mode, should you want to give it a go, where it can send a lot of power to the rear. We Which like that kind of thing. if you want to have a little <laughs> slide, then it, it can do it. I haven't actually looked in the back yet. Yeah, we've got some space back there. Yeah, it looks like a nice place to be. I but mean, the place you really want to be, I guess, is behind the wheel. Absolutely. And when you think about what we're going to be doing with this car, the aim is if we ever need to go and drop a car off for service, if we ever need to go anywhere as a team and you know we want to take a car out for it on the Schmusium channel, this is the car we're going to be taking for 
all that. This is the car we'll use for those purposes. If Brad and Tom are heading out, Brad can drive this one. Yes, because we've had questions <laughs> saying, when am I going to drive a Shamima bill and with insurance and stuff? I'm quite young and insurance don't normally yes. like young people when it comes to cars with lots of power. It's but It's very expensive to insure a young person on the supercar, but Brad is on this. Brad can drive a Shamima bill. We're calling it a Shamima So bill. when we go on big drives and you take something silly, Tom takes something of yours, I'm going to bring the RS3. Yes. Or if I need to go somewhere and you come with me, we can get back. There we go. We've used your other a few times, but now we can take this out instead. I just think it looks really good. Um, obviously back here, you've got the traditional oval exhaust tailpipes and the diffuser, the black styling pack, that's all part of the upgrade spec as well. And overall, it's a nice looking thing. I presume the tail lights do a similar kind of dance and show depending what you're doing with it. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, there we go. That's very cool. How do you just nail the headlights? They've always done a very good job of being ahead of the game in terms of the visual feel and drama of the headlights, whether it's the RS6 or going back a little bit more. Um, should we just pop in and start it for a moment? Yeah, I think we start should. Start it up, let's just take a little listen to this. But you have a listen to the back Yeah, there. you jump in and I'll stay back here. I don't even need to jump in, I can just put on the brake, let's have a listen. Get a little rasp out of it. Obviously, this car's done a few miles. It's been driven around so thankfully we don't have to run it in we can when it's warm go and have some fun with it it's um, such a lovely sound the five pot it is. is just a glorious engine to listen to really nice rasp it's really cold do you want to hop in the passenger side just so we can i think we should <laughs> i think we should although we do need to remember that we've left our, our stuff which we'll have to check out the boot space and pop we'll all that, of that in. we'll do that in a second so inside here i'm keeping my eyes on it um, we can continue as a guest user. We've got the big touch screen. You can see we're at Munich Airport at the moment. We've got drive select if you want to go through the different modes and configure it. We've got RS torque rear, which is your fun mode. You can also... Uh, That's a very civilised name for, for a fun mode, isn't it? Yeah, it is. You can configure everything and set it all up. So we'll have lots of fun playing with all of this with the haptic screen. This is your selector. Um, very with, futuristic. Yeah, with our option, you get the reversing camera. If you have the Vorsprung package, RS3, instead of the launch edition, you get the full 360 cameras. But I think we'll manage with that um, for the moment. Here we go. Actually, let's get out of the camera. I'm warming up a little bit right now. Yes. That, that sounds, sounds all right. That sounds good. I think I should go around to the back again. I'm going to go and brave the cold. I'll be back in a second. Yeah. <laughs> See what it's like. <laughs> let's get a proper sound check. <laughs> That does sound really good. I just love that engine. It's just such a lovely note to it. Well, when it's a little bit warmer, they've had it running, I should point, before this point. Yes, we haven't just warmer. started revving it. Yeah, um, we'll have some more fun, but we've got like the wireless charging pad. Do we have a powerful boot? We do. And that's a good time. Nice. Let's shut the car off <laughs> and we can go and put our stuff in the boot. <laughs> Let's go get some luggage and load it up. Which is really roomy. This is one of those, if somebody had just come by while we were filming. I could have lost the shoe, which are very bright. <laughs> well, I'm sure there's gonna, be a, there's gonna be a lot of comments going, why have you got such bright shoes? Your shoes fit right in with Shmima Bills. They do. GT8, this. Senna, everything. It's all, yeah, it's all going wrong. Um, but we're gonna be heading now, actually, on a bit of a, an adventure with this car. It's gonna move this. Yeah, we'll move that first. I'm gonna go grab my shoes before they go missing. Yeah, don't judge these. They're bright, they stand out. Why not? Yeah, the plan is to put this through its paces, to do a proper collection adventure. We're going to be taking it to multiple European countries, um, heading through the mountains. I should point out at this stage that this does actually have, as you can see, the winter tyres fitted. Yes. Audi have very kindly prepared us for the time of year. We've got room for these. Yeah, we've got plenty of we'll room. Just shove them up. That's not been very efficient way. with the packing. We can look at that another time. So it's just a release, it's not like a power shut boot. But yeah, I think this is spelling the beginning of a fun adventure and a new thing for the channel, for the Schmuseum channel. Travelling abroad for an adventure and picking up a car to use for the team. Yeah, it's... it's... Oh, panoramic roof. That's there is panoramic roof, that's, that's another thing. With the launch package, There's, there are more options we'll be talking about. So our plan for now, well, we can't talk about the driving impressions of the car, what we can do with the car is head into Munich to go see what we can find. So should we hop in and get back on the road? Yeah, let's go. Let's jump in. First drive. I can't talk about what it's like to drive then, but where we're going to go is, I think, quite funny. It's, it's pretty <laughs> cool and it ties in quite well into the last video. 
It does. So I mentioned, as many of you have seen, I have a fairly large collection of swatches, many of which are what Swatch call the Destination Series, the watches that you can get in each of their different shops. And one that I have never picked up for whatever reason is the one that you can buy here in Munich. So where we're going to head is actually to Swatch Munich to go and collect the local regional watch. And I'm having to bite my tongue big time to not talk about the car. Yes, Do don't say anything. This is the embargo, it's fair for every publication. So we're heading into Munich. Obviously, we're gonna have some adventures with this. We're gonna be going onto the Autobahn. We're gonna be heading to some mountain passes. And the cool thing about the Autobahn is I've never actually driven the Autobahn. No, you've only passengered on the recent tour we did when we brought a few of my cars over. So I think you've had quite fun. And you've never driven a car on the right-hand side of the road. Yes, so it'll be a nice adventure. We've obviously got a lot of things planned and lots of driving and it'll be a great way to sort of put this car through its paces. That is exactly the plan at the moment. So we're in kilometers an hour, take it easy for the time being, and uh, head, look at that sunset. What, <laughs> a, what a way to leave Munich Airport. Really, really nice. We'll head in towards town. Maybe this is going to descend into effectively a car spotting video, something like that. I yeah. can see that happening because Munich is a hot spot. There's a lot of activity. It went 60 there and then it goes 50 right here. It gave us 60 for about 50 meters. It's to test acceleration of cars, which we can't talk about. Yeah, something like that. This car does have, by the way, because it's the launch edition, the speed limiter. So instead of the fixed limiter at 250 kilometers an hour, which would be 155 miles an hour, it has the optional raised limit up to 280 kilometers an hour, which is 174 miles per hour. Maybe we'll have to find out how accurate it is at some point, although not with winter tires winter tyre limit is. No, but when we're back in the UK, I think we do plan to put some normal tyres on the car. Um, Summer tyres. We might do. It depends a little bit on what the weather does. Yes. And do you know what I would find really interesting is to get some performance data behind this car because the official claim, 0 to 100 kilometres per hour, at 62 miles an hour, is actually only 3.8 seconds, which is really very fast. So we'll have to test it, right? Yeah, 100%. <laughs> See what it's like. Anyway. Still can't talk about it. <laughs> Let's cruise on and head into Munich. Well, night has basically fallen, but this is the end of Maximilianstrasse, which is, well, kind of the Sloan Street of Munich. It's where lots of the very fancy shops are. What do we have by way of lighting in here? That's kind of all right. It doesn't distract me too much. Maximilianstrasse is where all the cool cars are, basically. If you're gonna go car spotting in Munich, it's this road. So on our way to the shop, which is actually only just off the side of this anyway, I think we're gonna have a little spot of car spotting. You've never been, have you ever been to Munich? No, I haven't, I haven't been to Munich. I've actually got a photo of my SLS Black Series there before it was mine. Like it was car spotted here. I mean, obviously if it was gonna ever drive in Munich, it used to live in Munich. So I bought it from a dealer nearby, um, but the previous owner had basically never really taken it out. I think on one occasion it had been spotted around town, but quite fun. I mean, it shows you the kind of place we're at, right? Oh, 100%. Oh, that light wasn't green for very long. Um, we are basically gonna go down the main stretch in front of us and see what we can find. I've not seen anything t too crazy yet. No, count down to supercar. We need to find at least one supercar. Is that our goal for tonight, find one supercar? I don't think it's gonna take very long. G-Wagon doesn't count. Um, what is... No. No, no, no. Oh, the... no. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Just no. <laughs> seeing colours and thinking, oh, that might be something cool. No. A G-Wagon's I mean... a good spot, but I don't think it's quite what we're after. No, I mean... We see a G-Wagon every day. Yeah. Weeknight vibes, hey? Okay, so we haven't actually been that unsuccessful. We found on the bar 595 Competizione, which obviously I have my 124 Spider, so that counts. Brad spotting. I'm counting. We're doing a bath spotting and we've got one. That's just like yeah. a daily thing for me when I see in a bath. I'm like, oh, there's another one. But a car, this but... just is not going <laughs> to plan, is it? We're bailing out from where we were and there's been a substantial change. Brad is driving. That's there's been a massive change. We've swapped seats. So you're going to get a feel for this. Not that we can talk about it again. But the reason for this, um, I'm going to point the camera around for a second, is because I forgot that that shop is closed and we have to go to one that's out towards the east of Munich, which I did know I had just forgotten, which is very foolish, but it gives us an opportunity to explore a little bit more hay. So we're going to go there and try this again. 
Jump ahead again, and we're now parked up for the night. The good news is I did manage to get my swatch, yet another one. Um, this is actually a smaller size one, but the Swatch Destination series, I like these, and this is very, very, very Bavaria, which is of course where we are right now, so that will go in the collection back at home. RS3, can't talk as we said earlier about what it's like to drive. Um, obviously both Brad and I have now been behind the wheel. Yep, that was interesting. <laughs> well, can't say what that drives like, but it's been interesting. Yeah, interesting to drive around Munich. It's been, it's been nice to experience my first time driving on the wrong side of the road for yes. what I'm used to. Um, this thing still looks great, which is good. It looks awesome. Do you know what? I'm really quite looking forward to spending, well, we haven't actually calculated the exact mileage that we have ahead of us on this tour, but it's got to be about 2,000, one and a half to 2,000 miles, something like that, that we're going to do over the next couple of days in here to get really accustomed to the car. And obviously when we then get it home, after today, having collected it, and I'll do a full Schmiebel 50 drive on some amazing roads, when we then get it home to the Schmuseum, obviously that'll be the first time Tom sees it. Yes, <laughs> and then be the first fun. time he gets to drive it. And... Yeah, so that's quite fun as well. I'm really looking forward to you know, what we're going to be able to get up to with this, and just learning a little bit more about it, and using it, as we've said, as the Schmuseum team car. And I think that's you know, an exciting new thing for the channel. I hope you guys are interested in it as well. And I think it's great to finally have an Audi in the garage, because it's been far too long. I've previously owned my S5 Cabriolet, which is my first serious sports car, let's say, back in 2010. And then I also owned an R8 V10 Spider in 2012. But outside of those, there hasn't been an Audi in the Schmien wheels. So it's good to have one back. I think the RS3 is a very, very nice start. It is just funny seeing all winter tires. Obviously, we're here in Germany, and when the weather conditions are bad, you have to have winter tires on the car. And we'll see what we do with those back home i think that's pretty much it for today yeah i think that i think we wrap it up that sums up not too long a day of traveling but no, we started early didn't sleep last night yeah. uh, but we've yeah. made it and <laughs> we've collected the r3 the new museum team car Schmuseum team car indeed anyway i would say that's all for now from the Schmuseum, but of course we're not back at the Schmuseum. there is going to be more coverage though of what tom and Schmark 150 have been getting up to, or will have been getting up to, while we're off on this adventure. For now though, that's all for today from the Schmuseum. Until next time.